10 years on the drawing board, five years in the making. This place is so huge, it covers nine postcodes. Londoners are very excited to have the biggest premium shopping mall in Europe. Let's go have a look. village, the luxury section of the Westfield Shopping Centre. This is the kind of place you'd come to for your little Dior purses or your giant mulberry bags. <laughs> luxury lingerie brand Myler have chosen the Westfield Shopping Centre for their flagship store. And the two Miller sisters have got their very own little cheeky boutique tucked away in the corner here as well. And suddenly you turn a corner and you get this huge, massive sense of space. Well, it's so fantastic to finally have this brand in the UK. Yeah, well, we're very excited to be here. We're known for our frocks. with your boyfriend, your father, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, make sure you visit this store because it is full of gadgets. We're now in Jaeger, London. They've got an absolutely beautiful store. Erin O'Connor wore this in blue to the Julian McDonald show in London Fashion Week. And it's gorgeous. Oh, accessories. Okay, this season you simply cannot wear enough. So don't buy one, buy two. It's a perfect store to visit for menswear as well. They've got a fantastic collection of shirts, all in some really nice on-trend colours. So we're here in the absolutely gorgeous Mulberry store with a rainbow of different amazing totes. This bag is called the Shimmy and it's yeah. the, the new bag of the Spring, spring Summer wow. collection. Very exciting. This is the first standalone Ugg store in the UK and they also do fashion. And some of the shop prints look absolutely fantastic and really quite quirky. So you've just bought yourself a Dior purse, you've nipped into Topshop to buy a nice cute dress and you've been to Zara to get some heels. Michelin star restaurant? You can if you wish. No matter what your taste buds are, there's something to entice you here. Absolutely gorgeous Vietnamese street food as well. Nothing quite works up an appetite like shopping. There's a rotisserie over there which smells divine. And now we're talking. This floor is grinded, mushed up, whatever you want to call it, old trainers. Personally, I would be going for a kind of more leopard print with loads of pink bows. Is that okay? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> when you finally finished your shopping spree, just find a bench, put the shopping bags down and take a look at this gorgeous architecture that's so characteristic of Westfield. history of retail, there's always been this invisible barrier between luxury brands and the high street. And the Westfield Shopping Centre has successfully knocked down that invisible wall. This is a megalomania of consumerism. And this place is at 99% capacity. And it looks like the shoppers are just going to keep coming. 